more on all those issues. Let's bring in Al Fullerton, Senior Equities Broker at Aleom Financial with me uh, for the show. And Al, you know, the grilling will uh, take place. Is it going to be water off a duck's back? What realistically is going to emerge? If Rick Badalino is backing the big four, why is Glenn Stevens going to sing a different show? Oh, look, it's, it's bank bashing 101, and we, uh, you know, Prod and Ab coming out now with a glitch in their systems just makes it worse. It's, mm. The focus has been on this, uh, you know, the, uh, the raise in rates outside of the RBA decision, the surprise of the RBA rate rise. Um, I mean, it, it's certainly something which, uh, which we're going to focus on, especially with the, the European debt concerns, uh, you know, uh, casting uh, the spotlight over the entire global banking sector. So it's going to remain in vogue for a long time to come. There are some questions which will have to be answered, mm -hmm. um, but certainly it, it, it was flagged beforehand that, that, that banks would actually look to, uh, to raise rates outside of an RBA decision because of, mm. of, of funding costs and uh, that, that we have spoken about previously. So. While it perhaps wasn't a surprise and while it was actually pushed back by the, the government, by the Prime Minister, uh, by the, the Treasurer, um, you know, it, it wasn't uh, actually outright a, a complete surprise that they did that. Who do you like in the pantheon of power there, the power base right. of the big four? Who's, who's on firing on all four cylinders? Because you know, ANZ looks as if its Asian strategy is not exactly over the line now. That Korean exchange bank spluttering, the deal yeah, is you know, losing all not, the not, not the worst time to be at, you know, yeah. not too exposed to Korea. But yeah, look, I mean, ANZ have reiterated they're on track for 20% of their, their revenue flow from, from offshore operations there. They're still confident that can happen. Mm -hmm. um, because I think Westpac goes from strength to strength, um, increasing their, 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 their book in both the mortgage space and the, uh, the, the, the corporate banking well, side. Well, for deposits with them stepping up a notch this week because, of course, really, they want to fund that book mm. domestically. Their reliance is never before, therefore, on deposits. Are they going to get people to switch with these juicier uh, deposit rates? Oh, look, I think the, 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 the beauty about having the, the, the four banks here is that the consumer does have the choice to switch, and I think that... That's that a pain, been, Al. You know look, this it, as much as anybody. It is a pain, I agree, but, but I think that it's been so well broadcast by, our, by, by the government, especially, saying you don't have to sit with the one bank, look for the best rate. I think that people can now see side by side all the rates yeah. and make the decision. I'm sure banks will make it easier and easier for you to switch over, but I agree. Look, it is a pain, yeah. but, uh, but at the same time... And ATMs as well. Are the Greens going to scotch that one where you go to another machine and, sorry, cough up two bucks because it's just too oh, hard? The, 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 it's Otherwise. not the first time the Greens have, have, have complained about <laughs> against, against something, especially in terms You're of... You're not telling uh, me you support the it, banks. You? By, by all means, I you think that... You do support it. If, if you are so concerned about these banks making a huge profit, buy shares in them, Carson. I right. think that... You, as a consumer, if you're not happy to, to park your cash with the bank, mm. then you shouldn't be happy to, to, to buy shares. And then if you are happy with this bank, you think that they're making record profits, you think that they're, 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 they're being, uh, you know, or making absurd amounts of yes. profit, well, buy shares. Well, what's the growth the story? Holder in them. Okay, tell me, sell me the growth story then in the next 12, 18 months for banks. Is right. it just going to be more of the same, yawn, yawn? I don't know if it will be the more of the same you want. I think that... Because we're showing a ComBank chart there. I, want oh, you right. I do want you to answer Sorry, the Sorry, I wasn't actually looking at that. Not right. a problem, but the point would be, you know, Moody's out this week saying we see another rise in rates, we right. see delinquencies spike. That's a red flag. Right. I see that, that growth can come from other areas as well, and I think that we've seen that there is a focus on Asia, and there will remain to be a focus on Asia. This is polite talk, though, isn't think, it? They're not being compelled to do it. Well, no, but I think that the, the business is coming from there, and I think the ANZ still see that. I think Westpac recognised that fact too. Westpac were huge in Asia at the, uh, in early 2000s well, I mean, and pulled right back. talks about Asian growth. What are they demonstrably doing about it? When are we going to see a breakthrough? In Asian in growth. In Asian growth, yes. But the Asian growth is well and truly there. The fact that, that no, that, but that, we're not we're not part of the story, and we can't even fund our own book, let alone Asian lending, if we were to get a slight of the action. Right, but that's where, I mean, if you're looking at the slice of the action, mainland China, 1.3 billion well, people, we can't we've get got a license there, Al. We can get a license there. You, you have to get in bed with someone in China by, by right, so getting just, into a little JV, JV there. Basically. Well, look, I mean, we're a small, right. let's be honest, we're a small country, we're not a massive country there. There were 1.3 right. billion, you know, 25 million here, so we, if we're looking at real growth scenarios, we're going to have to start looking offshore there. Why are big four banks not doing corporate lending as never before? Why do BHP and friends have to issue and go to the bond market? Offshore. Well, there's a huge issuance of, of corporate bonds. So I mean, the the the, the corporate the, the bonds are going into the market. But the domestic corporate bond there. market's dead.
the, the domestic corporate bond market has been raising capital quite significantly over the last over, over by going offshore the end of last year. Correct, but, but, but why they're, can't because they're well capitalised at the moment. They're, they're well funded at the moment. They, they, they've got a good balance sheet. They've got healthy balance sheets. We saw that in the recent reporting season. Yeah. So you're confident that our banks are doing enough lending to corporates here? I think that it's a supply demand. If the, if the corporates don't want the cash and the banks can't lend it, I think that certainly they're in this this dichotomy at the moment where they have to actually you know, walk that fine line, Cast. Stay with us. I will do. From Alien Financial, we'll take a very short break and move into another area. More to the point. So much.